Hello friends, welcome to our website automationcommunity.com. Today we are going to see another real life application using PLC and HMI. So that is the mask making machine. So today we are going to see in detail working or the logic behind making the mask which was very important during the corona. And uh, this is very interesting mechanism. So let us understand the each and every operation of this production line. So let us start understand its working or we can say what is the logic behind making this process automatic. So first of all, you can see there are the three roles because this is the first material, this is the in between material and this is the material which is towards our face. So these three roles are feeding the three raw materials. Uh, there is the puller. Uh, this is the pulling mechanism. It pulls the three rolls. Okay. So after the rolls are pulled, pulled, what is the happening over here? You can see this is the one strip. If you have observed, there is strip around upper part, or we can say it nose. So which grips our nose. So this is that strip, and uh, here. The material is flat, but here you can see there is the shape. If you have remember, there is such shape in the mask. So this is the mechanical arrangement which creates these shapes. So here there is no any electrical actuator. Uh, by this mechanical arrangement, this is happening. Okay. So this is the machine is pulling the material, and this is pressing it so this shape becomes form. So this is the first step. What is the second step? Let us see the second step. So this is the machine. What it does, it seals the mask from all four sides. That is two horizontal and two vertical sides. And after that, it cuts into uniform size. When the desired size is achieved, it is cutting through this cylinder. You can see. And here, these are the chain drives. So this whole assembly is working through motor. You can see these are the chain drives and these rollers. These are pressing, heating and sealing and then cutting in uniform size. So this is the second step. Now we will see the third step. So what is the third step? So actual speed of this machine is little higher. So we have to use two production, separate production lines for further processing. So we have to distribute this mask in two production lines. So the machine you can see over here or mechanism. This is also another interesting mechanism. It will distribute the mask in two production lines. So how it will do? Let us see. Observe carefully. Here there is a sensor, red light you can see. When it senses the mask, alternate motors are activated. Okay, let me repeat this. One time this motor activated. Second time this motor activated. Okay. Similarly, again this motor will be activated. In this way, it is distributing the mask in two production lines. Okay. So this is the step three and the working of this distributing machine. Now the process we are going to understand is really very interesting and it's very unique and very creative. Let us see that. This is little complex and uh, even though I made this in slow motion, this process is very fast. So please try to listen this or watch this part two or three times for better understanding and uh, carefully observe over here. This is mechanism and here I have written the comments. Okay. So let me play this. This is already a slow motion but yet very fast. Cylinder is moving up. Servo is rotated 90 degree. This will hold the grip, will hold the elastic. Again, servo is rotated 90 degree. Now, cylinder will move downwards. And now, heater will move downwards. So, this electric band is stretched, stitched to mask. Heater up. Now, it will release, release the band and so let cylinder move upward, rotated. And again, it is uh, starting from the beginning. Let me, I know this is very. Uh, fast, but it is this video is already very slow motion. So let me repeat this. 
you also have to understand two three times first it is okay let me play from beginning okay cylinder upwards servo rotated cylinder downwards gripper hold the rubber cylinder upwards again servo rotated 90 degree cylinder downwards heater downward this is the heater now heater will move upwards okay now it release gripper release and cylinder is move upward servo 90 degree and from here this process is repeating but uh, this is happening four times you can see two cylinders over here and two cylinders over here so all four cylinders same working is being done okay now we will understand this below assembly which is bringing a new rubber piece every time so let us understand that so this is also very very interesting uh, mechanism it is very simple but very unique okay let us see that so here it it holding rubber and cylinder is moved backwards okay so this new rubber piece came now what will happen this servo arms this will this will hold the rubber and here it will cut and here it will release gripper will release so that this rubber can be stitched to mask now here new rubber came it holded and cylinder retracted okay uh, let me repeat this so it will hold the rubber cylinder is retracted now it will wait when the sequence will operate and this servo will arms will come here to hold this rubber here it will release and this will cut the rubber and now again the cylinder will be advanced and from here it will take the new rubber piece so i hope you understanding it properly and liking it so here is our complete assembly is completed this whole production line is made using vicon hmi and plc products that you can see from here this is the hmi control buttons and here you can see this is smps our vicon plc io modules here the relay modules and these are the servo drives so this is the real life application let us again see the complete process so this time you will understand each and everything clearly uh, from this roll material is coming shape is given sealing and cutting is done it is distributing the mask in two production lines as this process is completed this is moving one step so here also there is servo drive and there is another conveyor which conveys this ready completed mask to our final stack so so friends i hope you enjoyed this video so if you want to see more real life applications like this show your interest by liking and subscribing our youtube channel meet you in the another video with another real life application